Mabuhai, Kamustika, welcome. How are you? This is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. Today's video, my testosterone diet, food for hormones and fertility. A different kind of video today focusing on foods that increase testosterone. I've had my levels tested. I'm not going to reveal it, but I am going to try to focus on eating foods that supposedly will increase testosterone. These foods also contain other benefits that I'm going to skip over due to time. I will be employing this as much as I can and checking my levels every two or three months. Um, I've had them checked, uh, a lot of the parameters that come up here I've had checked in the past. And um, if you can't get a doctor to test for something, there's always a place called discountedlabs.com and that way you don't have to go to a doctor. Um, I think the prices are definitely a lot less than you would pay out of pocket if you didn't have insurance. So um, in fact, a total and free testosterone test, I think through discounted labs would be about $68. Um, they use Quest Labs now. I don't think they're available in every country of the United States, but you can see there on the website and um, they'll send your uh, requisition to Quest, then you just make an appointment, go in and get it, and then they can mail you the results. They can send it to you in your email. So for any of the hormones that come up during these, this video, um, and even another one I'm gonna make, you can get tested on your own without a doctor at discountedlabs.com. Now, I was eating some of these things already, but not much. Um, this list has uh, 25. Previously, my diet contained only six of these. My goal for this week is to eventually increase that to 13 of the 25. This matters because I realize that many of the men who marry Filipinas are older guys, and I know that as an older guy, we don't always value our health like we ought, especially if, if you're alone. Like I was for so long, you might think, well, who cares if I'm healthy or not? You know, I'm probably not going to get married, but I want to at least talk about this so you can make up your own mind what you should do, if anything, about helping improve your diet for um, improvement of your hormone levels. So let's start. Basically, what is testosterone? It's a steroid hormone produced in humans and other vertebrates. If you're a guy, levels of testosterone 78 seven to eight times uh, greater rather than in a woman. And even though testosterone is crucial for men and not produced as much in women, it still plays an important role in women. Testosterone does help females live a healthy and energetic life. And um, speaking of women, estrogen is something that men also have, not as much as a woman. And it is critical for a man also. So why are testosterone levels important? <coughs> as you can tell from, um, from this, um, it is important, and, and you know that hopefully intuitively, not just for men, but for women. It's important because uh, it aids the development of the male sexual organs, increased energy levels, muscle growth, weight loss, male characteristics developed during puberty, strength in bones, very important, and contributes to heart health. Now, a few years back, research, and I'll send you the links that I get this information from, it says research struck gold when they discovered the benefits of pomegranate and that's one of the 25 i want to start out with because that was one i really hadn't eaten before and i did uh, prepare that today they say the pomegranate um, testosterone connection is pretty impressive you make up your own mind so let's take a closer look at how pomegranates can boost testosterone levels um, the pomegranate testosterone connection works, first of all, because pomegranates lower estrogen levels in men. I've had mine tested too, and they're, they're just fine. They're certainly not high. Um, on the other side, if your um, testosterone is higher, then your estrogen is going to be higher too. So it uh, could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. But one study which tested pomegranate as an agent against breast cancer and the growth of responsive tumors discovered that pomegranate contains compounds that hinder the aromatase enzyme, an enzyme that converts testosterone into estrogen. So they say by eating a pomegranate, you'll lower estrogen and boost testosterone at the same time simply by inhibiting the aromatase 
enzyme. In a study published by the Agent Asian Pacific Journal of Tropical Biomedicine, researchers tested the effect of pomegranate extract on Wister rats. The results indicated that pomegranate reduced oxidative stress in the rats while improving sperm quality. Pomegranate even raised their testosterone levels by 22%. It says another study tested the effects of pomegranate juice on testosterone levels in 60 volunteers and it uh, doesn't say whether they were rats or men. Uh, the results were a staggering 24% increase in testosterone just from drinking some juice every day. And they say it doesn't get simpler than just taking a swig of juice and boosting tea. Well, like all of these things here that I'm going to list, if you were to test yourself before and kept testing yourself after, and you, you know, take care of yourself in the gym and, and get your sleep and all that, you can see if it's going to make a difference. Pomegranates and sex. The seeds of pomegranates or the juice are loaded with antioxidants that have been shown to increase the enzyme system, um, nitric oxide, that produces the body's most prominent vasodilator, nitric oxide. Pomegranate itself is a potent source of dietary nitrate, which also converts to nitric oxide. This nitric oxide boost has been shown to improve erection quality by reduced blood pressure and causing better blood circulation um, as a result. And they say it's even used as a cure for erectile dysfunction, and that's what um, Viagra or Sildenafil does. It works through um, the action of nitric oxide. And they say, in fact, one study concluded that pomegranate juice is so powerful in producing nitric oxide that it's a viable option for treating ED just like Viagra. Pomegranates and vitality. From this link I will give you, they say on top of um, skyrocketing, that remains to be seen, your testosterone levels and improving your sex life, pomegranates will restore, restore vitality and energy all day long because they are rich in antioxidants. A comparative study comparing red wine, grapes, blueberry juice, black cherry juice, cranberry juice, I think it's called acai berry juice and of course pomegranate juice found that pomegranate juice had more antioxidant activity and antioxidant capacity than any of the other tested drinks. Antioxidants lower oxidative stress, reduce inflammation, improve heart health, and protect your immune system. They also lower cortisol, which is a stress hormone, um, which boosts testosterone as well. In other words, if your cortisol is high because of if stressed, then it will drop and can severely drop your testosterone levels. And so they say the connection is clear. Pomegranates increase testosterone, period. They are quite sure. So that's what I want to start out with. Um, a lot of seeds in there. You got to slice it in five or six pieces and split it open. I put the seeds in a bowl of water, separated all that other stuff and scooped them out and put them in another bowl and just kind of eat them as I, I go. And so um, that's just something else that I'm trying to get used to trying. Now, I'm trying to move quickly through this. Here's the top 25 foods, according to this, this link, that you need to be able to boost testosterone levels naturally. You don't have to eat them all. I'm going to try to eat as many as I can here. I am 59 years old, by the way. And as I get older, very concerned about my health. And I like to think you would be too. They say about strawberries, along with raspberries, one of the best fruits for increasing your testosterone levels. Why? They contain a high level of zinc, which they say governs testosterone, can't hurt, increases in the amount of zinc intake, directly improve testosterone levels. Therefore, they say strawberries are perfect for getting more of the key nutrient into your diet this time of year, which is, uh, I don't know, late fall, maybe early winter. Strawberries are very expensive, can be five or six dollars a pound and maybe two dollars a pound or so, um, you know, during the, the best time of year during the summer. And number two, sweet potatoes. Now, strawberries I like, you know, I'll eat strawberries. They're, they're delicious. So they can just be a little expensive. Sweet potatoes, not for me, I don't think. The difference between sweet potatoes and regular potatoes, sweet potatoes contain an incredibly higher amount of vitamin A. Regular potatoes, 2 IU. Sweet potatoes, 14,187 IU. Probably international units. An increased intake of vitamin A, they say, can lead to improved testosterone levels. Although the studies are not fully conclusive of the fact, 
therefore switching out regular potatoes in your meals for sweet potatoes could be very beneficial now number three here's my definite go to egg yolks egg yolks eating egg yolks can increase your testosterone levels since eggs are very nutrient dense these nutrients can have a positive effect on your testosterone um, i had six of them this morning i think i had eight of them yesterday and eight of them the day before and my cholesterol levels are are fine many people believe that the yolk of an egg is unhealthy due to high cholesterol content but this really isn't the case they say egg yolk contains the good cholesterol your body needs and doesn't necessarily raise the levels of bad cholesterol in your blood it's also the part of the egg that contains the majority of the nutrients so don't leave out the yolk um, eggs also have lecithin uh, i used to buy lecithin granules when i was uh, a kid i mean from the time i could start earning money i was at the supplement store the vitamin store reading books buying everything i could and that was a long time ago um, but the lecithin that's in there helps protect you from the cholesterol so eggs a winner for me for broccoli we just started eating broccoli the last four or five days broccoli helps to lower levels of estrogen in your body through the um, its indole 3 carbonyl content this in turn also helps to increase testosterone levels in men by lowering estrogen this fact is the same for many other cruciferous vegetables as you'll find out later avocados number five avocados are a well-known superfood and contain a lot of powerful nutrients with a lot of potential health benefits i don't know if i've ever had one i suppose i could add that to the list and try it someday it says that um, studies have shown that monounsaturated fats can be potential testosterone level boosters and since avocados are rich in monounsaturated fats it makes them perfect for increasing testosterone Number six, raw cacao. Uh, says you're probably excited about this one. Now, I, I eat 88% um, dark chocolate. I don't know if that's considered raw. I mean, you can buy 99%, but it, it, it tastes absolutely terrible. Even I couldn't handle that. But cacao or raw chocolate is another of the top foods that they say boosts testosterone levels. Like anything, you can't overdo it. Cacao is one of the richest amounts of magnesium of all the world's wonderful foods and um, they make the statement here that as we go on you'll realize that both magnesium and zinc have positive effects on your testosterone levels seven pumpkin seeds i've eaten pumpkin seeds for a long time um, pumpkin seeds are probably overlooked with most households they say however it's important to mention that pumpkin seeds are very rich in both magnesium and zinc and so these are very important um, eight brazil nuts they are good i will talk more about brazil nuts in another video it does say uh, they're packed with healthy fats can increase life expectancy lots of selenium and so on number nine yogurt probably not the yogurt i like to eat a study published in 2014 showed that when mice were fed yogurt they began to develop larger testicles and had an increased rate of testosterone production i have to make a note here for isa to get me some yogurt that sounds um, pretty good although i don't know about the taste might have to make some sacrifices the testosterone level benefits from yogurt are likely due to the healthy probiotic bacteria it contains um, as this article uh, mentioned you know the yogurt commercials featuring just women can be misleading yogurt also has many benefits for men let me know if there's any guys out there that eat yogurt i like the yogurt in the yogurt stores but i think that's a little bit different than what they're talking about here number 10 coconut coconut has a wide range of benefits just wait till we get to the philippines and um and they have a list there but I, I left out the benefits when we focus on the testosterone um, it used to be thought that the fats in coconut weren't that healthy since coconut fat is over 90 percent saturated fat which as you may know has been debated over the years today however the research research is there to show how beneficial saturated fats can be for reducing the risk of various health diseases they're also the best type of fat for increasing testosterone levels 
And I think there's um, a little bit of difference between uh, the saturated fat in, in coconut oil and, and red meat, for example. Um, when I read that a long time ago, I, I started using coconut oil all the time. I just cooked in it here tonight. 11, minced meat. Minced meat is um, seriously practical, they say, for testosterone production. There's a lot of excellent testosterone boosting fats within minced meat. It's also rich in protein. Tons of recipes you can follow to make easy use of minced meat. And even if you don't have a recipe, they say it's not hard to come up with something on your own. They recommend organic minced meat uh, to make sure it hasn't been injected with unnatural hormones. 12 oysters. I don't eat oysters, but I bought some. Um, oysters have always been regarded as an uh, incredible aphrodisiac. So is pomegranate seeds, by the way, due to their amino acid content that triggers sex hormone production. Oysters are another food rich in zinc, just like strawberries, pumpkin seeds, and so on. Therefore, adding oysters to your diet is another great way to potentially boost your testosterone. 13, wheat bran, wheat bran. Not people, not a lot of people know about this, but wheat bran can actually be a great food for increasing testosterone. Why? It contains high quality of magnesium. Studies have shown that people who have a higher magnesium intake also have a higher testosterone production. If you eat magnesium rich foods such as wheat bran, um, you have a, a great chance of improving your testosterone levels. 14. Parsley. Parsley. The reason why parsley is a great food to help boost testosterone levels, according to this article, is because parsley contains a pigeonin. And uh, I think it's pronounced a pigeonin. Helps to stimulate testosterone production in the testicles. I don't know how that can be, but you know, apparently they have a study that, that says that. Number 15, I don't usually eat parsley, but I'm not prone to green leafy vegetables, but they are good. I, I know they are good for fertility. 15, coffee. Hmm. The debate between coffee and, or caffeine, I suppose, and testosterone has been continuously back and forth uh, debated over the years. However, it seems that um, a coffee now and then can be beneficial for testosterone levels. A lot of people don't drink caffeine for many reasons and excellent ones at that. They say we determined in a recent article uh, that would be linked if you were to go to the uh, links that I will have that a coffee every once in a while can be beneficial. If you start drinking too much, that's when the um, other benefits are completely wiped out. What are those other benefits? I will mention them here. Improves your Energy helps burn fat, lowers, lowers the risk of type 2 diabetes, protects the liver. That sounds pretty important to me. I, I drink, um, oh, well, I have the one dark chocolate a day. And uh, coffee is usually one or two drinks, uh, maybe three if I don't have the, the dark chocolate. But, you know, as someone that's looking to improve fertility, one study will say cut caffeine out, then I'll see another uh, fertility expert talking and says uh, two or three a day, no big deal. Just don't drink six a day. That's probably the takeaway here. Number 16, testosterone boosting foods, raisins. I used to love raisins. Thing is, just like nuts, I end up eating too much of them. So I may go to the store tonight before they close and uh, get some raisins if they've got the little packages. We'll have to see. Raisins can be very beneficial for improving testosterone levels for two reasons. The first is that they contain boron, a mineral linked to increased testosterone levels. I think sometimes you, you find conflicting information there. The second is that they also contain a type of antioxidant called resver resveratrol, excuse me, resveratrol, which has also been linked to increased testosterone production and even helps to lower estrogen levels in men resveratrol. Let's hope I don't come across that again. Now, 17 macadamia nuts. I'm going to pass on that till another video I do on uh, nuts and testosterone. 
I did buy some macadamia nuts, ate some today. 18, there's the pomegranates I talked a lot about today. Uh, 19 is shrimp. Shrimp, like other types of seafood, can be great for boosting testosterone levels. Shrimp contains high amounts of vitamin D, and a study that the Harvard School of Public Health found that an increase in vitamin D cause an increase in testosterone levels. They say, therefore, shrimp and any other similar food that contain high amounts of vitamin D are great to help boost testosterone levels naturally. Number 20, cabbage. Cabbage. A study at the Rockefeller University Hospital showed that cabbage improved testosterone levels due to the fact it contained indole-3-carbonyl, or IC3. It's basically a chemical that helps increase testosterone and reduce estrogen, a female hormone in men. I don't know if I'm going to ever eat any cabbage as long as I live, but the next one, 21, I have started to eat in bags of mixed vegetables and also, I think they call them shortcuts or something, just raw uh, broccoli, cauliflower, and um, carrots. So I like to eat things as fast as I can, so I've been eating those. Um, cauliflower. Now, uh, number 22, blue cheese. Not sure I'm ever going to see this one. Blue cheese. Certain types of cheese can be great for boosting testosterone levels. And blue cheese is one of those types. Is blue cheese blue? <laughs> so I'm never going to try it. And the reason they say blue cheese contains a lot of saturated fat, which is great for testosterone production. On top of this, the cheese includes probiotics and bacteria that's healthy for your gut. Now, when people try to um, drastically cut down their cholesterol, drastically cut out saturated fat, um, that very well may have a negative effect on their testosterone levels. But, you know, it all depends on the reason they're doing that and what they're trying to accomplish. So uh, back to blue cheese. The reason why this bacteria is um, important for testosterone production is because your gut communicates with your hypothalamus. Your hypothalamus is responsible for testosterone production. Number 23, ginger. Uh, no, not the, not the one with the Gilligan's Island show that I've seen every episode of three or four times. Ginger is a proven spice for raising testosterone levels naturally. A study conducted in Iraq resulted in ginger having a 17% increase in men's testosterone levels. I added some today to the um, chicken and uh, brown rice that I made. Um, it can be a very simple thing to add to your diet. It comes with great gains, not just in the testosterone department. Almost done here, 24 extra virgin olive oil. Um, they cite a publication called Flex, published an article a while ago explaining what happened within a study involving men between ages 23 and 40 when they consumed extra virgin olive oil. The results were that consuming extra virgin olive oil proved to have a 17.4% increase in men's testosterone levels. They're claiming it to be the new king of testosterone producing foods. So something really good to cook with. I suppose you, you know, if you have salad, you can just pour it over the top of that too. That's another thing I need to go get because we are out of extra virgin olive oil. Last one, onions. Studies have been performed on male rats. Listen up, rats. Where when given onion juice, their testosterone levels increase by 30%. Worth a try. 300%, I'm sorry. 300%. Worth a try. Since then, many people have found that this definitely applies to humans as well as rats. I found, uh, they say, I even found this awesome article. It talks about eating raw onion a day. Mm. The trick is apparently to slice the onion really thin and add lemon and tuna. I think I will pass, but I'm just listing it here for you because it was in the link. Now, before I go, today I made six scrambled eggs for breakfast with some leftover spaghetti, macadamia, pistachio, and Brazil nuts. Drank cold water with some apple cider vinegar in it. For dinner, it was brown rice, chicken breast, pumpkin seeds, fenugreek seeds, still on that fertility kick, and uh, carrots and peas, and then some pomegranate seeds. I used turmeric spice, garlic, onion, and ginger spice, added the chicken and rice. So for now, I'm just trying to eat a couple of times a day, and um, that's what I've been trying, a couple times a day. Um, 
we'll see how that goes. And um, try to eat as many of these foods as I can. And when I start to get, oh, I don't know, tired of it, I'll just tell myself, no, I'm trying to be healthy. If I can be healthy, that's uh, good for my wife. And um, that's what I want to do. So um, I will list these foods in the uh, description box of um, this video. So um, that's it for this video. I'm going to have another one later on nuts because that's part of a good healthy diet. So take care of yourself and your, for rather, for your love beyond the sea.